Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Omia. In the last episode we kind of accidentally progressed the plot while I was trying to do a quest because I am not sure what the game wants me to do. Uh, I, I need a cut 2 and a cut 3, potentially multiple of both uh, Pokemon and I have no idea where to get those because we're still pretty early on in the game, and uh, I, I am just generally a confused little ball of confusion. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and uh, progress with the plot, and maybe we'll come across something uh, with those abilities naturally. We could also look into our... Let's actually do that. Let's, let's uh, finish a sentence as well, uh, for once. We could look into this and then field move, cuts, search. Okay, Rosalia has cut two. We can definitely get that. Have we come across anything with cut three yet? No. Presumably Rosa Raid would have cut three. There's no way for me to get, like, if you look at the map on the top screen, this area is entirely blocked off. I'm very curious what's behind this log. But no. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from this one because the bead rail they keep bothering me, and I'm very much not about it. So let's uh let's just run away. <laughs> this is pretty much like the last 20% of the last episode was you know what? Actually, I could probably use a little bit of recharging. Oh, that recharge is only 5 HP. That is... Oh, that's pathetic. That is real pathetic. Also, there's a bonsai there, so I might want to get a war turtle. But I'm uh, mostly looking to see if I can find a Rosalia. Because Rosalia can probably help me in my quest. Do let me know in the comments, by the way. Uh, it'll be a couple of days, like probably next week before I can uh, use the feedback I read in the comments, but do let me know in the comments if you actually want me to do those quests off screen, because it's a pretty grindy process. There we go. It's a pretty grindy process, and it's like it's not the main game. And if you just want me to play through the main game, uh, do let me know, because I will. And that was probably the best capture we've had in this entire series so far. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, episode eight. So that's... Not last rank. For reasons. I do not know those reasons. But certainly there were reasons. Okay, so that's one log. I don't know how many logs there are, is the thing. Does the quest actually tell you? I'm assuming the cut three log isn't counted. There's one fallen log that- oh, there's only two. There's, there's literally only two logs. So we just need to find one more Rosalia, or go back to the area we were at before and get that same Rosalia. I don't need your Pichu. I mean, if you're gonna run into me, might as well. I'm just gonna use you to recharge right away. You should be a fairly easy capture, so... There we go. If that's not an ass rank, I don't know what is, by the way. So we got Rapid Capture, Much Capture, something and then something. So Rapid Capture is a thing that can actually improve your, uh, your score. Not that I can do that with most Pokémon, because most Pokémon are just really difficult to capture uh, with my current control scheme. I'm just gonna go back and not fight this Shinx, unless you have Cut 2, which unlikely. Yeah, you have Electrify, I keep forgetting that. Uh, I'm just going to get the San Rosalia, and I'm going to use it on that log, and I might as well get this War Turtle, because this War Turtle will be useful to get that Bonsly, uh, which will be nice to just have for collection purposes, really. That's my bad. Uh, one of the things, definitely, uh, on that last capture, which I didn't see, was no damage, because I didn't get damaged, and no damage does boost your experience and your rank. So, Rosalia, you should be back here, right? It feels really wrong that Rosalia is a evolved Pokemon. 
because I don't know, it, it's so small just all by itself and still rather useless, so why would you ever give that a pre-evolution? I know that's what baby Pokemon are, but the other baby Pokemon we know are like Hapini into Chansey. Chansey, on itself, pretty good Pokemon. Uh, freaking get rid of Weedle. Uh, we have Magmar and Jinx and Electabuzz with their baby Pokemon. On their own, pretty good Pokemon. Pikachu, admittedly, mm, but Pikachu is like the main mascot of the entire series, so we can give him a break. Then we have Rosalia, which by itself wasn't that good and actually needed an evolution. And they also gave it a baby form, because they needed something that was just utterly useless. So that should be the uh, last log uh, done. We can go complete the quest now, and let's just do the other quest as well, because it seemed like a short quest. And then we can do a little bit of story progression in this episode so far, because I think this episode is like already seven minutes long, isn't it? I don't know what exact time I stopped recording the last one. Last time I looked at the uh, recording time, I was at 25 minutes. But then I kept talking and talking and talking, and I don't know how long I kept that up for. So, we completed the quest. There's one more quest. Where's my water bottle? It's all the way across the room. Let me go get that. Also, I'm hungry. Uh, so, maybe I'll have some lunch before recording the third episode, or maybe I just won't record the third episode today. How about that? I probably will. I have obtained long line. That I do appreciate a lot. Our line just became slightly longer, I think, is what that means. Uh, there's one more quest in this town, I think. Yeah, there's one more quest. Uh, is it also in this town? It is. And he liked to talk to me about the beach. Which could be anything. I'm expecting to have to capture a gastrodome or something like that. Um, your opinion are kind of in a way for people who want to walk around your house. So, I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to murder them. Also, can't find the person with the quest. Should be in this town somewhere, but so far I'm not seeing anybody. Is he at the beach? Starting to feel like, no, he's over here. Believe it or not, I'm angry. Uh, lately, big wooden crates have been washing up on the beach. Uh, I think there's somebody throwing the cargo uh, overboard or something. It's bad for the environment and ruins how the beach looks. A couple have washed up this morning too. Big Bertha. We talked about this like three episodes ago. It's Bertha. It's, it's even Big Bertha. I, I swear I didn't make this up. I, I swear. <laughs> it is a thing, Big Bertha. It might be because of the alliteration. It probably is because of the alliteration. Makes me wonder what they call it in the Japanese version, because unlikely that it would have the same alliteration in the Japanese version, right? I'm guessing I need Badoo for that. Uh, crush. You know what? I'm not going to use this beetle any other way anyway, so I might as well just use the Crush uh, it has to see... What happens? There's nothing in the crate. Or is there? There is a sparkly thing in the crate. It's a diamond? It's a piece of paper. Paper doesn't... Actually, if the sun shines like right on a piece of paper, that thing can be bright. If it's a, if it's a good... Giga Type 8... It... Are we making a Type null? Color, re-energy, feed, something, something. Okay. Is this the entire quest? I think that was the entire quest. It was. Okay, so we can actually do some sort of progression today, because as I expected, this quest did not take too long at all. What is going to be our reward for this one? Uh, another long line? I, I appreciated the long line. Give me another one of those. Something good. It's probably going to be 
normal defense. It's probably the least useful one out of the bunch, because not a lot of Pokemon are going to be normal type. Let's actually test out a long line, because I don't think we've captured a single Pokemon since getting it. So let's see if we can actually like feel a different. Oh, yeah, I think we can. We oh, yeah, that, that definitely like there is a difference there. The difference isn't quite big enough for me to like do the circles as I want them because of, like my DPI uh, settings, which I'm not going to change because this works just fine. Uh, but if, if it can get like one or two more of those line upgrades, it does start becoming quite ridiculous. But some of the later Pokemon captures also like require you to make pretty big loops. So it's not that outrageous to expect to get more than one of those long learn upgrades. It's set in, like with an A next to it. So I'm guessing we might not be getting any more upgrades of that variety or maybe, I don't know. The other ones all have numbers or at least Roman numerals, I think next to them, while the long line had an A, which makes me think it's like a single, like a single thing that doesn't stack. Which would be a bit of a shame, but understandable, because that is like really abusable. Uh, wasn't there a Bonsly here just a moment ago? I could have sworn there was a Bonsly. It, uh, it's the other staircase, never mind. Is it? It is. So even if you're quick, you still need uh, something with Soak to to battle the Bonsly. Is the Bonsly itself going to be any use? No. No, it's not. I, I imagine, anyway. I, I don't know. It's probably going to be a fairly easy capture, because it's a baby Pokémon. Yeah, and it literally just cries. <laughs> That's all it does. It'd be funny if it actually had the soak ability. It has tackle, of course it does. But if it had the soak ability because of its like crying uh, gimmick, would be funny. Wouldn't make a lot of sense. It'd make, it'd make a little sense, but not a lot. Especially since you need soak to actually get it. So we just replace your soak Pokemon with another soak Pokemon. Um, I didn't need to run into you, but sure. I guess you can be... I love how that doesn't damage me. <laughs> I guess you can be useful because you have cut level 2 for reasons. Again, that reason being Badoo exists, I, I am aware. And we don't need to go in this direction, but I'm very curious to see... What's over here? Do we go in this direction? Oh, hello, Glamio! Certainly you also have cuts. And you seem even easier to capture than... than Rosalia by quite a bit, actually. This normal defense thing might actually come in handy against this Glamia, because you are a speedy... Okay, never mind, that was actually not too bad. And we're, we're getting closer and closer to leveling up again, which also recharges your style, which is real nice. So what is your ability? It's cut one. So it's literally just worse. <laughs> bye bye Glamia. You, you're added to my Pokedex, which is all you're useful for, apparently. So that's everything in this entire area. It's just leading towards... Oh, you can jump down there. That's... Uh, Okay. I didn't want to do that. Didn't really get a choice, did I? Let's run away from the Beedrill. Beedrills are annoying to catch, and they don't give you that much experience uh, at the end of the day, so it's not really worth it to waste your time on the Beedrill, especially if you've been wasting your time on other non-plot-related stuff already this episode. The Beedrills are fast, though. They're so fast. Uh, is it okay to flee? It, it's never okay to flee, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because, as has been established, I am a bit of a little bitch boy. So, let's not... Can I jump down these as well? You can! Okay, that's... 
how did I not do that accidentally before? Because I've mainly been going upstairs and not down many. Hello, Barrel. <laughs> I guess we don't need Badoof anymore after this. Are you... You are... Wow, you have a lot of HP compared to Badoof. Let's take this slowly. Slowly but surely. Oh, the long line really does help a lot right now. Because without it, I probably wouldn't be making like 90% of these circles. There we go. That wasn't too troublesome. And he has soak rather than uh, tackle. And ah, so close to leveling up. Oh, he has crush. I guess we'll get rid of the Badoof. I'm really looking forward to when I get, like, keep more than three Pokemon or four Pokemon, actually. Three Pokemon, four with the partner Pokemon included. Uh, with me at all times, because it, it's not a lot. And eventually I think your cap goes up to like eight or nine in total. Oh, this town is, uh... Not in a good shape. Hopefully Soak 2 is something that I need. Hey, Rangers! Just the people I wanted to see. Because I am reading dialogue again. I don't know why I'm doing that. Every time I read dialogue though, I know what to do. But it seems fairly obvious what we need to do here. And that is... Take out these machines. Which... It's really coincidental that those machines started showing up here when the Professor left. Because he wanted to come check out that same exact type of machine in a different town. Just saying, that ain't no coincidence. Uh, do we need to recharge? Do we? I don't think that we do at this point in time. So what do we need to murder you? Soak 2! Um, the barrel? Meat? Mind control machine? Mind control, mind control machine, meet the barrel and die. That is a start. Pokemon are still acting as if they're under uh, hypnosis. Hi I always want to say high hypnosis because I say uh, H and a Y, which just spells high for me, like hype. But it's hypnosis, not hypnosis. Which is just, just like a thing in my brain that just does not work. So, do they all need to be taken out with Splash? Hello, Chattles. Uh Splash 2 or Soak 2? They do. So, we just go back and get the barrel over and over and over again? That seems tedious. How many of these things are there? Just two? If it's just one more, it's not that big of a deal. Because it's right here, correct? Yeah, it's right here. So, not that big of a deal, because it wasn't that difficult to get, remember? And we're going to be leveling up because of this anyway, which means that we definitely do not need to recharge at all, because we're going to get a recharge off of our level up. And... no, no, yeah, no. I want to capture him without lifting my Styler, if at all possible, because I think that actually gives you a boost in experience. I think that's one of like the, the checks it does if you remove your style and no damage, and that's all there was to it. So, but we did level up to level 9, so we now have more energy and more power, both of which are very much welcome, and we are back at max HP. So, that also is very much welcomed. I'm ignoring all of these small Pokemon because really, who gives a shit? This is. You can't see my mouse, but on the top left, that's the most lazy-ass blockade ever. <laughs> it's just... These Pokémon are... under hypnosis, and they're blocking you, so when you release them from, from hypnosis, you get access to more parts of the map, because that's apparently how that works. The other Pokémon, they're all running around, but these... These have been ordered to just stick around here and, and block people, which is kind of stupid. It works, but it's still kind of stupid. Anyhow. 
Do we do anything more this episode? We're about 20 minutes in. I'm, I'm sure we are. I'm not very sure we are. I'm fairly certain we are, though. So we could end it here because we did do a thing. But let's see what this next map has to offer for us. More confused Pokemon. Um, let me guess. I need to go back and get more Barrel. No, this one has a different color. So surely I need to use a different... This machine is a different color. Is it a different type? Uh, yeah, it, it does look like it we need to use burn on it but how do we get burn we need a fire type and a fairly like a, a decently strong fire type because it's burn too that we need so i don't think we can get that one quite yet unless didn't we see a magby before around here maybe a growlith do you have burn too i I wouldn't expect you to have burn too. But you're the only fire top that I can see around at, the top, at this moment, so... Nope. Burn two? Please? Have burn two? You have burn two! Okay! Uh, probably because Arcanon has burn three. And they didn't want to go from one all the way to three immediately. Is my, I don't think I've gotten a Rattata before, actually. Let's let's get to Rattata. I almost forgot about completing the Pokedex. We're a Pokemon Master, after all, and a Ranger, but also... We are a Pokemon Master Ranger. We're a Ranger Master? I, I don't know what order of words fits past there. I'm no linguist. I, I, really, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, the opposite of a linguist. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about, like, 90% of the time. And don't ask me about grammar, because... I won't give you a satisfying answer. It's just that easy. See, uh, Magnemite also seems like a Pokemon that we could probably add to our decks because we haven't had one before, I think. Magnemite seems like the kind of Pokemon that can recharge. That being said, it's fairly difficult. Maybe it's... Oh, but maybe we can get a recharge two out of you. Then again, Unlikely, because you'd have two evolutions, so you probably level one of whatever you are. You are a recharge one. Does recharge... Recharge surely goes up higher than just three. Now that I think about it. So it's probably... Magnemite is two, Magneton is three, and a Magnezone would be four or maybe even five? I think most field abilities only go up one, two, three. But I think recharge... Because it doesn't do shit on recharge one with Pichu... It might have, like, multiple more levels than 1, 2, and 3. Going up to, again, I'm assuming that 5 might be the maximum there. That was my bad. Just running into that move twice in a row. But uh, we got a Tyro. Which, again, is literally only useful because... I want it for my Pokedex. I'm gonna keep calling it a Pokedex. I know it's not called a Pokedex in this game. I'm gonna... If you're bothered by that, I'm sorry. I, 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 that's all I have to say. <laughs> I am sorry. Because I'm not going to change that. At all. I'm going to keep calling it that thing. Uh, which is Pokedex. Is there only one machine in this area? Or is there two machines in this area as well? And do I need to go back to get another Growlithe? Answer, I need to go get another Growlithe. Which... Sure. And after we do that, I think I'm going to end this episode. We're not going to do the entire town this episode because uh, we're about 25 minutes in again. And as I said, I'm going to keep these episodes a bit shorter. And we did do some progression. I didn't get the chat up before, though, so let's go get that chat up as well. How easy are you to capture? Fairly easy, it seems like. Though those musical notes do scare me a bit. Nothing to it. Easiest capture in the world. You are flying and caught. Who would have guessed? I think literally every bird might just be caught. Uh, that's the wrong button. I'm very sorry for that. Uh, let's get another growler. And I think there's actually also an alligator up there, which might be useful. Okay. Let's not get hit. Thank you. 
I mean, I didn't get hit, but my line got broken, which at this point might as well be the same because I, I'm trying to perfect my my mouse circling technique as far as I can perfect it, which is not very much, honestly. I don't remember if getting more Pokémon on your team is a matter of a Ranger rank or if that's a matter of leveling up. I think it's a Ranger rank, so a story-based thing. Uh, we can't get to the Allocate yet because that's locked behind uh, this map, which means we'll be doing the next episode uh, because we're going to find the... I'm assuming there's only two in this area as well. There might be a third because this map is a little bit larger than the last one, I think. So there might be one like down to the south a little bit more, though. I'm guessing that this is everything there is to it. Yeah, okay, so that was the last one. And unless we have another cutscene, that is the end of this episode. We're going to have another cutscene, but it's probably not going to be a very long one. It might be. Either way, I'm going to mash through it very quickly. Very shady guy. Is the other one called Very Shady Girl? Please. Terribly shifty guy. <laughs> okay, that works as well. That works as well. Uh, again, the writing in this game, if you actually pay attention to it, is very funny. It's a very fun, like, the writers did a good job making these characters, like, feel alive. Uh, but we'll be experiencing more of that, uh, and with experiencing, I mean ignoring, next episode. Until then, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have. Next time we'll be back with more Pokemon Ranger, and I think there's no Pokemon around here that I have not captured yet, except literally there is a Magby, which I haven't captured yet. So we'll probably be starting next episode by doing that. But first, I'm going to get some food because I'm starving.